Hi, I'm Supreet from Drupal Doc. Today, let's look at how to set up a responsive slideshow in Drupal. We're gonna use the Flex Slider module, which is quite easy to set up, and also uh, one of the trending slideshow modules currently. I have gone ahead and installed the modules. We need to install Flex Slider and Flex Slider View Slideshow, and it in turn depends on libraries and some of the other modules which needs to be enabled. Also Flex Slider views show, view Slideshow depends on Views and View Slideshow modules to be enabled. So once these other modules are enabled we need to enable Flex Slider, Flex Slider Fields, View Slideshow and Flex Slider View Style. And it also requires one of the external libraries. So we have to go to the link provided by the Flex Slider module page which is available in GitHub. We need to download it and place it under Sites All Libraries now if you don't have a libraries folder just create one and then place the downloaded flex slider folder in here and it has to make sure it is all lowercase and the spelling is right flex slider and once we go inside we should be able to see the javascript files available so once we, it is done we can go ahead and configure the flex slider option set so for that click on configuration go to flex slider and click on add give any name and all the settings here can be left as they are unless you want to make any changes to the effects and then on navigation and control settings I'd like to remove everything except touch advanced options I like to choose pause on hover and then save so as you can see a new option set has been created for flex slider now the next step is to go ahead and create a new content type. So I have already created a content type for this. I'm just gonna show you and explain the fields that it has. So manage fields, I've just added a title body and an image field, like so. So once the content type is created, we need to add some content for this content type for the slider content I have added three articles just a body title and an image now the next step is to create a view let's go to structures and views add new view we're just gonna create a block so create a block block title and display format select flex slider of fields continue and edit okay I guess I forgot the view name sorry for that this just requires lowercase letters 
and numbers. Okay, once we are on the view page, for format flex slider settings, we need to use the option set that we created in this demo. That is testing slider and apply. and the fields we want the image title and body all three available so we need, let us include image and we don't want any label appearing so I'm just gonna uncheck it and apply and finally add the body field again we don't want the body just gonna leave it as they are and apply. Now let us rearrange the fields in such a way that image is shown at the top and then the title finally the body. So apply. Now under filter criteria we need to specify the content type that we have chosen to display the slider content. So content type apply so is one of the one content type I've used is slider content so just gonna select it and apply okay so we should be able to see a preview here and finally the pager so you can specify the number of slides that you wanna display click on save the view is now click created we need to go to blocks structure blocks and search for okay it's here flex slider test this is the view let us assign main content for it and save block so that it appears in the front page I'm just gonna open the site in a different browser and refresh the page. Okay, we should have yeah, the flex slider test is appearing here. You can click on the link to go to the link and also it is responsive as you can see here. Sorry for that. That's quite simple, isn't it? So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please leave a comment below. Do subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos and hit the like button. Thanks. Bye-bye.